Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is all about the Oxford cloth button down shirt, which is an all American staple that should be in the closet of every gentleman's wardrobe. <laughs> Oxford shirts are great because they pair well with a summer wardrobe as well as a winter wardrobe. They can be casual, they can be worn with a tie, with a blazer, with a tweed coat, or just on their own without any neckwear. They're also really hard wearing, so it's perfect if you usually go through shirts very quickly. There are many button down collar shirts out there, but the Oxford cloth button down shirt is very specific. So what makes it so special? First of all, it has a soft button down collar. That means there's no interlining, it's just the fabric. The collar forms this beautiful S curve around your tie knot, and that's typical for this collar. In order for the collar to create this shape, it must be longer and the buttons must be placed further up. That means the the distance from the button to the end of the collar has to be less than the collar itself. It's simply excess fabric that creates the curve. It's a little distinct feature and most button down collars today on shirts do not have it. Instead, they lay flat and it just doesn't have this three dimensional look to it, which is why it's not desirable. As you can see here on the mannequin, we have an Oxford cloth shirt, but that's with a rounded club collar with a collar pin. So it's a very different style. And even though it's an Oxford cloth shirt, it's not an Oxford cloth button down. This shirt is so popular that it got its own acronym. So if you see OCBD, that stands for Oxford cloth button down, and it means soft roll collar, Oxford cloth. So what exactly is Oxford cloth? Basically, it's a basket weave, meaning you have multiple strands together that are woven like a canvas, like a plain weave, is simply one warp and one weft thread, and it creates a fine, tightly knitted weave. An Oxford shirt, on the other hand, can have two or sometimes three, which gives it a coarser look. That's especially true because the warp threads are usually colored, such as blue in my case, whereas the weft is white. It creates this changeant effect when I move, and it just adds a three-dimensional component to the color of the Oxford cloth. This is a very characteristic feature. With a white shirt, you'll have white warp and white weft, so you won't get this effect. As mentioned before, the strands of the Oxford and how many yarns are put together can vary. And even though a coarser structure can be quite attractive, it's important to bear in mind that it's more easy to pull a thread with more strands being combined together. So if you want a hard wearing shirt, you should get something in the middle between a plain weave and a super wide Oxford weave because they will last you for a very long time. What other hallmarks does an OCBD have? Apart from the buttons in your collar, you want a few other things. First, you want a shirt placket that is separate, creates a symmetrical look with regular buttons. Second, you want a chest pocket. A chest pocket is part of the casual heritage of the OCBD and you definitely don't want to skip it. Normally, I'm not a big fan of chest pockets and I try to avoid them wherever I can. However, for my OCBD shirts, I always have one. The other feature you want to look for are barrel cuffs that have either one button or two buttons and they should be rather tight because normally, just like the collar, there's no interlining so they're quite soft. And if it's too wide, you easily get wrinkles, which just doesn't look very favorable. Other than that, a traditional American Oxford cloth button down shirt is cut very wide with lots of room for movement. Now, while that's true on your body, you want to avoid having armholes that are too big because otherwise, when you move up your arm, your shirt comes untucked, it's uncomfortable. Traditional Oxford cloth button down shirts are cut very long in the front and in the back to prevent them coming untucked at any time during the day. In the back, you usually have a box pleat, which gives you an extra space and range of movement. So now let's talk about the history of the Oxford cloth button-down shirt and why it's such an American staple. 
To understand the background of the OCBD, we have to look at the button-down collar. It was originally invented in India and was meant for polo players to keep the collar down during the exercise. Otherwise, it would flap up in the wind and in players' faces, so sometimes they couldn't see. So it was a very practical and functional feature. From India, it made its way to England, where it was seen by a member of the Brooks Brothers family. And so in 1896, they brought this collar to the US. It was Brooks Brothers who had the idea to combine this style of collar with an Oxford fabric, and people really loved it. Back then, laundry was very hard on shirts, and people then wore them with lounge suit for business services until in the 50s, they wore it primarily casually. To get the full history of the Oxford cloth button-down shirt with more details, please check out our in-depth guide on our website here. It was a comfortable shirt, and people like comfort. Also, actors like Cary Grant, Humphrey Bogart, or Fred Astaire would wear it, and so the shirt would get a mass appeal because people would see it on the screen and wanted to buy it afterwards. Outside of the US, one of the biggest proponents of the Oxford cloth button-down from Brooks Brothers was Johnny Agnelli. As a CEO of Fiat, he could have afforded any kind of custom shirt there was, but he chose off-the-rack shirts from Brooks Brothers. He combined them with flannel suits, he would wear his wristwatch on top of the cuff, and it was just one of his favorite shirts, and so people wanted to emulate his style as an Italian industrialist, so it became an iconic garment, even outside the US. Obviously, the shirt was very versatile, could be worn casually on its own, could be paired with suits and sport coats, and so for men who often like simplicity, was this one garment that they could wear with anything. Stay tuned for a video about specific outfit ideas for the Oxford Cloth button-down shirt, the different colors, and how you can combine it. Now, the original Brooks Brothers shirt has changed quite a bit, and it's not really what it used to be anymore. If you want to learn what traditional Oxford Cloth button-down shirts we recommend, please go to our full-fledged guide here, where we give you several options. So what are the OCBD do's and don'ts. First of all, do not wear it with formal wear. That means no tuxedo, no tail coat, no morning coat, but even a formal three-piece suit would not look good with it because it just clashes in terms of formality. If you work in an environment where business casuals are dress coat, the Oxford shirt is the perfect companion. To learn more about business casual outfits and the proper dress coat, please check out our video here. In a traditional white collar environment, the Oxford cloth button down shirt, even in plain white, is a bit too casual, too soft, and I would go with broadcloth shirts or pollen. When it gets warm, sometimes people wear OCBDs with short sleeves. However, that's not the proper look. A Oxford cloth button down shirt should always have long sleeves, and if you're too hot, switch to a polo shirt. You can learn more about them and the different styles in our guide here. Do wear Oxford cloth button-down shirts on the weekend. It underlines the casual character and it's a perfect weekend shirt. Do not wear Oxford cloth button-down shirts to interviews because it's just not formal enough. And to learn more about what exactly you should wear to an interview, check out this video here. So what should you look for in the OCBD? As I mentioned, soft roll collar and Oxford fabric that is not too wide with the strands. Also, try to get 100% cotton because it just feels better in your skin. There are lots of poly blends out there because they last longer, but if you can afford it, go with 100% cotton. Because it's a hard wearing shirt, you can buy them vintage and you can even get the original old Brooks Brothers ones that you can't get anymore today, vintage much more easily. Again, skip the cufflinks on the shirt, go with long sleeves and no short sleeves. Regarding tie knots, you do not have a huge tie gap, which calls for a small knot, such as the oriental knot, which you can learn here, or a four in hand knot. If you like a bigger knot, you can just wrap it around once more, or you get a tie with a thicker interlining, but stay clear of a half Windsor or a regular Windsor, because it just doesn't work with the cut off the collar. To start, I recommend you invest in a light blue Oxford shirt. It's one of the most versatile ones, as well as a plain white one. 
Once you've got those covered and you want more, you can switch to other pastel colors. For example, it could be something orange like here, something maybe green, something light purple or lavender, even something pink can work. You can also find Oxford cloth button down shirts with stripes, either wide bangle stripes or slim stripes. I'd invest in those once you've got the basics covered. For more outfit ideas, please stay tuned for another video. If you enjoyed this Oxford cloth button down shirt guide, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up to our newsletter here so you get everything right to your inbox. If you're interested in my accessories, please head over to our shop where we sell them. Thank <laughs> you.